Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Chair. And I want to thank everyone for their excellent presentations. And wow, what a diversity. And because of limited time, just know that even though you might not be asked questions, know that your recommendations were heard uh, and that we will be taking them into consideration. Uh, my questions are, are actually, my initial questions are actually to the Alberta Chamber of Commerce um, as well. Um, there, you, you mentioned this, sir, just a few minutes ago. Uh, just, uh, I think it's part of a narrative that we're, that's circulating in our society that I think is unhealthy. Uh, and that's that the East doesn't care about uh, Western Canada, doesn't care about Alberta, doesn't care about the economy in the West, doesn't care about the oil and gas sectors. And in my downtown West riding of Toronto, uh, for the vast majority of people, I would say there's nothing further from the truth. What we really care about is we care about our commitments around the Paris Accord. We care about uh, moving urgently and faster to achieve them. And if anything, we want to help Alberta and the Western provinces and those with high GHG emission sectors to actually transition. Uh, there's no fight against workers. <clears throat> And no one wants to make anyone make a choice between paying a paycheck and fighting climate change. So my question to you is, what can the federal government do uh, to help Alberta, Alberta businesses become more sustainable and to invest in transitioning into a low carbon uh, economy? Mr. Selby? In the environment. I think the prime minister and the premier both agreed to that. Um, however, uh, when we talk about the narrative that's circulating is hurtful, you bet it is. I'm a proud Canadian. I'm a proud Albertan. I've lived in Alberta all my life. Sometimes perception is reality. And right now what I'm telling you is that the perception of a huge number of Albertans is that they feel abandoned and that they feel that the rest of Canada does not care. I think if we're looking towards one of the measures, certainly, that the government of Canada could take to show that, look, at, we're here, we're here, we got your back, we're, we're going to help you, not provide charity, we're here to help you. We recognize the contribution that Alberta's done and had for, to, for the economy over many, many years is to address the issue of the sustainability um, transfers, um, to take it to the amount um, that it should be sitting at rather than at the artificial $60 per, ca uh, 60 per capita cap. I think that would go a long ways towards uh, Western Canadians, particularly in Alberta, recognizing that the rest of Canada, particularly the government of Canada, is behind them. Um, as far as uh, how you can upscale um, um, folks uh, to transition from the current economy, certainly, and it was in one of the uh, one of the recommendations. I'm sorry that I didn't mention earlier, and I know that my communications guy is probably watching this and saying, "How come you're not doing this?" Um, is to prioritize spending on skills for the future um, and, and to make that transition, to make that move, uh, to give uh, kids who are coming out of post-secondary institutions the opportunity for that first job. Uh, we at the Alberta Chambers of Commerce have a work integrated learning program. So sorry to cut you off. So I did hear that recommendation. I think it's an important one. I just want to get one more comment in the Just Transition Act. So we made a commitment in our platform uh, that we would uh, introduce a Just Transition Act that would uh, give workers access to training support and new opportunities uh, to succeed in the new economy. Uh, do you think that's something that would be helpful? You know what, I, and I think what we would need to do before I comment on that is would be to review more of the details of what's pr proposed within that act. Uh, I haven't seen those details. Uh, so before I would comment as whether it's going to be effective or not, I'd actually have to see the document. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, turning to uh, Mr. Saint Marie.